are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And today I have a Goodwill haul, which I'm gonna do in two segments. One with the amazing Bear, Mm. and one without because it's just like 120 pairs of pants and they're just all boring and they're all sitting right there they've been sitting yes. in the living room for days i've been passing those in the roji biv order i know i color coded them which I, I didn't know about roji biv until i was married remember really yeah yeah you said i should have learned that in school but i didn't did anybody else learn roji biv i'm roji guessing biv. everybody did except for bear red green roy r-o Oh, red, orange. I can't spell either. Red, orange. What's the next letter? Roy, so Y. Uh, yellow. Good. Uh, G. Green. B. B. Blue and, and blue? B blue, then there's an I. I. Ah, indigo. Indigo. That's okay. a tricky one. Then V. Violet. I remember Violet because my, my aunt Vi was named Violet. Yes. She was very sweet. I love my Aunt Vi. She made great, great baking stuff. Really? She baked and just meals, like great meals. She was hmm. awesome. Well, I love the name Violet. Yes. Yes. Okay, so Goodwill 85% off. They've been having 85% off for the last three days, Thursday, Friday, and today. And today they close at 6 p.m. So I went back this morning. Everything else clothing wise is from a couple days ago the first day that had 85% off but I was in the store today and everything was still 85% off and they made an announcement they just like spoke it because it's a small goodwill they don't have an intercom and they said all hard goods so like all their glass stuff their electronic stuff was this amount of money and it was amazing nobody else went back to the electronic section well, do do people know, just normal people know what hard goods are? I don't think they did. Yeah, that's... Because even pictures, like large artwork, yes. was this amount of money? And the girl announced it, there was a guy working there, and I heard somebody come in after she announced it. Like, if you didn't hear that one announcement within a half hour, you would have had no idea. Because there were no signs. It's so like a guy comes the in. blue light special at Kmart. I know! So a guy comes in and the guy says, how much is artwork? And the gentleman who didn't hear the announcement, who worked there, said it's 85% off. And I'm thinking like, no, she said all hard goods and then she went on to describe the things. And I said, oh, I think it's this amount of money. And he said, oh, I didn't hear that. And he just went. You're, you're saving this for the big reveal for me? I am. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So, so anyway. I have a table. Go ahead. And, and again, the hard, the hard goods are basically anything that's not clothing or cloth, right? Yeah, but I don't think it was books. Books wasn't included. So books are not and hard goods. And toys weren't included. That's really weird. It was such a specific, it was, yeah. she said hard goods. And then she said, well, whatever has this label and it's glass, plastic, okay. artwork, and electronics kind of. Okay. So. But is that something, I'm sorry to be late. I don't mean to be late. I really, really don't. But is this, is another, would another Goodwill store call, like if they, would they I say, they would call them the, their same items hard goods. Like. She said hard goods and then she said a word. Wares. Oh, I think she said wares. hard goods, all wares. Okay, but I'm saying would most Goodwill places agree that this is hard goods? Like, oh, books aren't hard goods. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't okay, know. Okay, we'll move on. I, but I generally yeah. wanted to know. I, I, don't, know. I still don't understand. Really. I don't think most people in the store understood. Okay, all right. Plus, she, I mean, it's not a huge store, but she was speaking it. Yes. Well. She wasn't like yelling it. It was just whoever heard. Okay, well, let's get to it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so don't look. Okay. Okay. Like I closed my eyes. I couldn't just look the other way. Okay. Oh, we're even going to do one at a time. Well, I have a few oh. fun things. <clears throat> oh, okay. Do you know what this is? <clears throat> Hold it up well, so people can see what it is. I was more concerned about me finding out what it is. Okay, go ahead. People. Okay. Uh, sorry, people. I was... Oh, it's a crock pot. <laughs> it's a crock oh, pot. Oh, it's a basketball shaped like a crock pot. Yes. Pro pots. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's so funny. Yeah. And it's like this weird light switch that you can turn it so high and low. You're a huge basketball fan. I know. And when did they have this priced at before? I have no idea. Before it's the hardware price. sales. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, guess how much it was? 50 cents. Cheaper. Wow. 
25? Cheaper. 10 cents. 15 cents. 15 cents. So all hard goods were 15 cents. Okay. She said all hard goods are 99 cents today, but then we'll give you an additional 85% off. So I asked her, I was like, does that mean everything is 15 cents? And she said, yes. Okay, great. 15 cents. Now, now the cat is out of the bag. Now you know everything I got is 15 cents. Oh, okay. Okay, good. I, good. I don't know where you want to put that. All right. So now it's not as, <coughs> as fun and dramatic. So now I'll just show you the things. Well, it's still fun. I'm, wow, this, yeah. This is like a vintage thermos, right? It is. It has little dimples in it. I know. Yes. And it has like the cap that goes with it. I remember thermoses like this, really? and and what happens is if you if you drop this oh. and you shake it, it's like it's like the crackled glass. It's just full of sand. And oh, yeah, don't drop it. If you that. break it, I thought if I didn't sell that, that we might be able to uh, give that away to a homeless person. Yes, that'd be nice. This says made in Italy. Do you know what this is? Uh, I'm going to this. This is a makeup. Nope. Uh, oh, I have no idea. Oh. It's, no, do you know what this is supposed to emulate? <laughs> no, my guess was already like, I thought it was like an old fashioned powder thing. You put your powder in. Oh, I have in. no idea. Yeah, okay. Do you no. know what this is supposed to look like though? It's supposed sand? to look like something, no? Water and sand? No, I don't know. A French macaroon. I'm not oh, pronouncing that right. No, macaroon is correct. I think it's, no, I think it's a different pronunciation. Well, mom used to make coconut macaroons. Remember this little coconut one? Mm -hmm. But 15 cents. How, how do you know this is supposed to look like a French macaroon? Because I've seen macaroons. So you know that this is, you, just, you just you just know that this is supposed to be a French, yes. however you want to pronounce it. Okay. It's a certain cookie. So imagine if it looked like oh. a chocolate chip cookie. You would just know that's what it is. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so people would know that that's a French macaroon. <laughs> All right. Sure I think they would. most people now, on a, Instagram would. <laughs> Really? Now, if it's a chocolate chip cookie, of course, but, you know, that could just be looking decorated. I don't know. Ah, pigs. I like pigs. This is so cute. Yes, he is. He's an improper color, I might add, but... He's cute. He is cute. Just know he's cute. Yes. I don't even know how much he would have been. Then this... I thought I could send that to my niece with our niece with paint and then she could just like paint over it. Like if I painted this whole thing white and sent it to her with paint. Oh yeah, well maybe she'll like it the way it is. It's already painted. Isn't it really cool. cute? Yes, it's a... I think it's a sugar shop. As opposed to the Sugar Shack by the B-52s. Oh, thank you for that. Somebody will comment on that. Oh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And then I got these. They are brass. Pigeons, what are these? Gooses, geese, what, what are these? Pheasants, are they pheasants? These, I would say, are quail. Oh, quail. I don't know that, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just guessing that. And I, I also have to correct myself before somebody does it that the B-52s did the love shack, not the sugar oh. shack. I sang that in fifth grade yeah. for the D.A.R.E. program. Yeah. Sugar Shack is another old song. Okay, so these say Leonard Solid Brass Collection. They're heavy. I mean, not so. I don't know why mm -hmm. I said quill, but I guess. So they would have been $6, $4, and $2, but I paid 45 cents. So since Goodwill had these prices, this what's an what approximate retail price do you think this is on these things? I think they're vintage. So you know, like, not that these are 1900s, yeah. right? But in the 1900s, something might have been like eight cents. But translated, that might be like eight dollars. That's not the right. But so let's say these are 1960s. These might have been like ten or fifteen dollars in the 60s. Okay, I'm talking about the retail price of these right now, not at Goodwill. Where would you even buy this? Exactly. Yeah. I so know. why did Goodwill feel the need to price this at six dollars? Who wants this for six dollars? Well, it's brass, so I'm sure okay. they're marking it up. I don't know. At like some kind of tourist shop, they might have been like twenty to thirty dollars. Okay, so it's just they're strictly decoration, yes. or, or are they paperweights? Probably decoration. I don't know the difference. Okay. All right. Who uses paperweights? Well, Family Guy used one for his hat. 
so it didn't blow out the window. Okay, but in real life, not a cartoon. I, I don't know executives. Maybe they, you know, like have a stack of papers here. I don't, I don't know. Because they have a fan blowing on them? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Somebody obviously had a basketball theme at their house. If this is from the same oh, person. Possibly. Because we have the yeah. crock pot basketball. And this, oh, this is a pause. Oh, so you just play basketball while you're sitting on the toilet. I know. Okay. Instead of having a phone. Yeah. Father's Day is coming up. Yeah. This is such a, like, a silly thing. I really don't. I, I, my personal opinion is the guy didn't really need to have his pants down while he was sitting <laughs> on the toilet to demonstrate this. Really, dude? Like, okay, just show. I'm sure he's boxer shorts. I'm sure it's a stage photo. Let's pretend he's wearing. Oh, of course it's a stage photo, but oh. we would have got the idea if you just took a picture of the guy sitting there with his pants up. Yeah, more authentic. Yeah. Oh wait, does it have a mat with it? It comes with a floor mat. It includes balls, floor mat, do not disturb door hanger. Okay. And ball holder. Well, the irony being, the floor mat—that's a free throw line. Okay. Okay. So the. The, the net would have to be behind him, not that, in front of him. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's not exactly <laughs> like... <laughs> well, they wanted to be authentic enough to have the guy's pants down. But... I know! Do you know what this is? It says something on the side, so that'll help. Oh, it's a juicer. It's nope. A, oh. It's just some... It's a yonana. Is it to make, you put bananas in here and make some sort of yucky mess with them? You make like ice cream. It's a frozen oh. people that are, are healthier than us. <laughs> put bananas in it and you can make like frozen ice cream, frozen yogurt kind of. Well, I'm guessing you could put something other yeah, than bananas you, if you, you wanted can. to. Okay. But that might be on Amazon right now for like 50 or $60. Okay. No 15 cents. Everything's 15 cents. Okay. Yeah, that's not what we're selling it for, by the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then these, these are so silly. They charge me 15 cents because 99 cents, but they actually have 79 cents on them. So I should have been charged six cents or seven cents. They charge me more. Yeah. But they're plates and they're microwave safe. Oh. And they're from um, Pampered Chef. Do you say Pampered Chef? Do they? I don't know. One of them did. Yeah, Pamper Chef. They all okay. say Pamper Chef. Well, I know Pamper Chefs are usually pretty... That, that people have parties for that, right? You're right, they do. Yes. My friends in Pennsylvania have Pamper Chef parties. Hmm. Well, is this something we're keeping? Or? Possibly. Okay. Do you like them? Well, I like them better than, obviously, both you and I like the new brown ones. We're, we're the tan ones. We go back to the blue ones all the time. I know. We ordered plastic plates on Amazon, and they were like $10. They weren't expensive for 4 but they're, but it's the same thing with these. These are a little, they seem flimsy. Not, yeah. not totally flimsy, but I know. that's well, why we use the blue, oh, so you can carry it. Oh. Yeah, you carry your food, and you bring it out of the microwave. Oh. You pull it out of the microwave. I thought it was like a cup thing. I don't think so. Yeah, Maybe, I don't think I so. I mean, a cup's not going to fit in that little spot there. <laughs> I so. know. A half a cup. Ah. Well, we'll put them in our cabinet if we don't use them. I'm sure they're better they're than the tan sense. ones, but yeah. the blue ones are our favorite. Yeah, the tan ones are like flat. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Those blue ones are heavier. They're yeah. thicker. Yeah. That's so that's our. I feel like we should go get a blue one and show. Do you want to? Yes. <laughs> get a tan one too. I'm going to. Okay. We got these blue ones so long ago. They're like totally scratched up. Okay. We're still using them. The blue ones. Yeah. But look, look how thick they are. Can they Not made for microwave oven, <laughs> yeah. made in Italy. <laughs> they're like, and they're like, you know, they're substantial. Okay. Now the new tan ones. They're like ivory. These ivory. are Nordic ware. Yeah, and I'm sure they're very good, but see how they're kind of like, you know. So we always go back to these. Yeah. But we had a bunch I of I feel like ones. because I cut a lot of fruit, I'm using these specifically because they already have cut marks on them because we've used them for so long. And these are new, so I don't want to put cut marks on them. That's not why I don't. I don't use them because I don't like the th I don't like the flimsiness of them. Okay. Well, now that we've waxed on for five minutes about our plates, it'll be good in editing. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> these were fifteen cents each. Hmm. The first one is open. I have okay. four of them. These are all closed. 
Oh, this is hand sanitizer you can mount on the wall. I know. Yes, that's very nice. I'll probably sell all four of them together. I don't know what they're going to get, but they're all brand new in the box. Yeah. This is too bulky for us to put anywhere. We, oh, yeah. We wouldn't want no. Very good. Okay, last item. They okay. had it marked for $30. Mm, and what did you get it for? 15 cents. Mm, okay. And, well, I'll tell you the story afterwards. Oh, wow. That's impressive, seriously. That is really impressive. You have to hold up this side because the other side is Spanish. It is a turbo... What is this called? Convection oven. Convection oven. Mm -hmm. Brand new in the box. Mm -hmm. It's Walmart. I couldn't imagine Walmart wanted more than $30 for this. It could also be a horno. <laughs> we're, not, we're not quite sure what that means. Okay. Tur oh, it's Spanish. It means turbo. No, it means oven. It probably means oven. Okay. Turbo means oven? No, horno means oven. That's what I'm saying. Because this says turbo convection, clearly. So, so the horno part would mean oven. Horno. <laughs> horno. <laughs> oh, it's brand, it's brand new. It's brand new! Yeah. How did somebody not pick this up for 15 cents? Somebody right? did. I did! Once again, we, we, if we cook, we might use it, but we don't cook. I don't know what you do with a convection oven. What is it? 30 times faster. Bake, broil, grill, roast, and steam. And in, in particular, I think this is healthier because there's not oil. You don't have to put oils in with it because it cooks with the high Do you make heat. things with oil? Well, we we don't cook. Normal people <laughs> make things with oil, okay? Oh. You know, I mean, they put, you know, any kind of yeah. oil in with something, they make it. But with this, it's just the super high heat, and it gets cooked without... When I made my chicken, which I didn't eat because I hate eating chicken, so now it's just sitting in the refrigerator. Are you going to eat my chicken? Yeah, I can just cut it up and put it inside. It looks so gross. Um, did I make it with oil? I must have. Well, you know, you put a little bit of olive oil in, Probably. or, you know, if you brown stuff up for me, you put a little bit of butter in to brown yes, it up. Yes. And also, okay, okay so this will stuff will all get cooked. Now, if, same way with the roast. If you put a roast in the oven, you know, it's always in a broth. Uh, People take the broth and they, yeah, I said, you don't know that. Okay. <laughs> you put a roast in the oven, there's a broth. You, <laughs> Could you imagine me putting a roast in the oven? Do you know what I mean, though? About when people have oh it. like a, a a squeezer based well that is for yes. a turkey yes that I know is that. for a turkey so oh. that's in a broth too okay but roasts are also in a broth you know but in this you wouldn't have to do it because it's super high heat and yeah. yeah so I'll probably just sell this on offer up or you can still broil as well yeah okay, yeah good and deal. these items aren't included like oh, the chicken and the, the chicken and the corn stuff. no yeah. it says it's not included yeah. or the French fries mm. Mm -hmm. okay so. That's everything. My cart was overfilling because their carts are small. And they had six or seven DVD players there. Mm. Should have I gotten them for 15 cents? I could probably like list them all on offer up, like take all six, but I didn't know if they worked. I went back and forth. Yeah, I, I, I think it's just fine leaving them there because I mean, even for six of them, if you get five or ten dollars for six of them, if somebody wanted I think wanted, I'd probably get more like 20 or 25 dollars. I People still using know. DVDs a lot. I think so. Because I feel like Redbox is just... Well, yeah, that's out. Well, then how are people... Do you think people are still buying DVDs? I think people still own DVDs. Okay. All right. Well, then, yeah. There are Blu-ray players, so, but... Well, there are no six. I could still go... I could I'm go. guessing they're gone now. Oh. Because I was there, you know... Yeah, if, plus, then you never know when they say, oh, we ended that sale or whatever. Yeah. They, I don't know. Since... Um, you know, the lady might walk around and, and announce, no more sale on the hard goods, <laughs> which for some reason does include books. Yeah, it was so weird. Yeah. Yeah. But I did pretty well, right? You did great. I, you did I don't great. know what I'll get with all of this stuff, but well, I was pretty taken with it. You always do great. Thanks. It was under, for all of this stuff, I think I paid $2.60 or something like that. Okay, so now we, we finish. <laughs> Do you want to finish now? Well, you know what we're going to say. Oh, okay. I don't, I'm free. What okay. is it? Really? You don't <laughs> remember? Hope your days bloom with joy. Yes. Okay, yeah. yes. Okay. You want to do the three? Okay. okay. Three, two, one. Hope we your days. <laughs> no, we. We hope your days. Oh, oh, I just thought it was hope your day. No, no. We want to be. We use proper grammar. Hope your day is blue. What, what are we, texting them now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. And by the way, why, why do you have to be 
How how who counts backwards? Why do people why are you I counting? Count down? Yeah, but when you say on three, nobody goes three, two, one, everybody I goes one, two. Three. Did I? I said uh, yeah, I said you're gonna do the count, you're gonna do it on three. You know how I thought you said we'll do a countdown. Well, if it is a countdown, you know, a sports team or anything, when they go, okay, on three, one, two, three, nobody goes three, two, one. No, but they don't do that. Is somebody, that like somebody's probably New Year's Eve type of thing? No, like 10, 9. That's a countdown, yes. But oh. I'm saying like in the sports team, in a metaphor, when you're like on three. Did you think I played sports? Nobody, and I'm sure somebody will comment now saying, well, our sports team did it that way. Nobody goes three, two, one, Bloomies Forever. It's huh. one, two, three, blo on Please three. Please countdown. I'm sticking with my countdown. Because if you say on three and count backwards, you would have to start right when you say three. Bloomies Forever. You wouldn't let the, you know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> yes. because wait, no, wait, no, wait. I'm serious. You got it? Yep. <laughs> I know you wanted to end, but I just wanted you to understand how you can't count backwards and I'm say on three. I'm cutting most of this out. Okay, now we're going to say on three, we hope your day is going to okay. joy. Okay, ready? You, you do the countdown. <laughs> do not go backwards, though. Don't go backwards. We have to count up. On Let's three. do the count up. On to say on three. <laughs> on three. One, two, three. We, we hope, hope your day is, is blooming with joy. joy. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you say count up. <laughs>I know you just watched the first part of this video so this is the second part this is where I show you everything I got clothing wise at Goodwill's 85% off sale our local Goodwill is closing today is the very last day and they started their 85% off sale on Thursday Thursday and so I went and I picked up stacks of pants and shorts mostly i plan on cutting a lot of the jeans down and distressing them and that will be a fun project at some point in my near future so i will be filming that i've heard cut off distressed shorts sell pretty well and i think a lot of these will lend themselves to that project so i guess i will start with the most boring color which is beige in my opinion so all of these were $4.99. I have to check that every once in a while. I think some pants are $3.99, jeans are $4.99, and shorts are $4.99. So I'm just gonna say what they are and if I'm going to fix them or not. So $4.99, I'll put it up on the, the screen. These are a really pale pink, blush pink, Massimo, super stretch, mid-rise, midi, shorts they're cutoffs they're cute then i got these same price tommy hill figure size eight they have the little flag in the back they're cargo i figure for most of these shorts if i can put them on for like 6.99 plus shipping most of these will go first class mail i'm good these will be quick to photograph quick to list cargo pockets these I might cut off and try that distress thing or I might just leave them. They're Eddie Bauer, size 12, 100% cotton shorts. So we'll see on those. Same thing, these are high-waisted though, so these I probably will do something with. I have a flat iron that most people flatten their hair for and I've seen the trick of cuffing the hemline and then using your flat iron to flatten it down. So these might be a pair that I either just cut off in distress or, or do that. So these are Liz Claiborne, size 10, 100% cotton. Still at $4.99. These are Khakis and Company, size 8. This just look like a good kind of hiking short for people that do hiking and trail walking and stuff. Lots of pockets. I liked these too. These are Chico 1.5 Bermuda. Now this has a pink label. So they're a linen cotton, kind of a pedal pusher length. They have roll up, hook up, <laughs> hems. 
They have hems that buckle up. Goodwill originally wanted $9, so I paid. <laughs> okay, that was an easy one. Then I have Lauren by Ralph Lauren, size 6, 100% cotton shorts. They have the cargo pockets. They have a lot of pockets. These are a heavier cotton. I don't know what people wear heavier cotton for. Next, Old Navy, size 4. These are getting more into the olive green kind of realm a little bit. They already had some distressing, which I am going to help out. I'm going to distress these. I love these. So I was basically just picking up, I think, any shorts that I thought I could get $6.99 or more for, anything that looked summery. Um, my store right now has just about 200 items, but I have all of my clothing items on auction since it's the end of the month. That's just what I do. I list them all month and then I throw everything on auction um, since I have free listings through my store at the end of the month. So I'm hoping 40 or 50 items will sell and then I can make room for some of this stuff. These are Nike. They're a, an older label, but I don't think this is anything that anybody's looking for necessarily. Are they men's? They're a size 30 or medium, so I'll have to look. They have a little swish. They're Bermuda. Liz Claiborne Sloan size 12s. Khaki. They have a little bit of a frayed edge already, which I think was done intentionally, so I really liked that. Again, just a lot of pockets. Columbia sides for J. Crew size double zero. It's a really short, short shorts. These are Union Bay size seven, so these are a juniors. I like the little pocket backs. They have a different shape to them. Oh, and these are cute too. They have a little scallop. Then we have New York and Company size zero. Again, we're kind of in the khaki green realm. These are thick. Trail design size 30. These have a lot of pockets. One, two, three, four. Five, six, some of them have weird zippers. Seven, seven pockets? I think I counted wrong. Olive green. Another pair, Morona, which is just Target, size four. These feel really nice, like soft and broken in. Then I have a pair of pants, and pants are $4.99. So these are brand new with tags. They're Gloria Vanderbilt, which doesn't have like a super huge following, but with the new, and they have the style, which is Amanda Heritage Fit Tapered Leg Classic Rise. So they have an ultimate smoothing effect and exceptional stretch. Next pile. Okay, we're still in the greens. These are Old Navy size four. Cute little pair of green shorts. Oh, these are adorable little pockets. I'm gonna put in that little pocket. I'm gonna shut this off and see if that's better. I think that's a little worse. shorts these are definitely vintage youth mind intelligence olive green olive green 
lots of pockets. Then I got Levi's size 16. Cute. Well, just very basic things. Gap size 6. They're gray with like a little bit of a texture to them. These are a button up fly. Then I have Lauren Conrad, size six. These are really cute. There's little bows on them. <laughs> I love these. I didn't even look these up. What is this? This just feels very well made. This has this. Brand new, oh nice, Tea Party. I'll have to look them up. They retailed or were on sale for $37, but they are that kind of stonewashed, I guess, but they're leggings. And then watch, they have fringe. The back show it off better. It's like rivets and then all of this soft, fringe. Love these. Love them. Love them. These vintage. These are no label. I'm going to say these are vintage. Then another boutique items. They wanted $9. <laughs> Whatever 85% off of $9 is. Alberto Macaulay Sport in conjunction with Cache. It's a really sexy kind of print, and then it's just an A line skirt. Let's make for a cute Halloween costume. Oh, these feel nice. This is Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez, that's probably how we pronounce it. West, size 10. I'm guessing these are linen. These are linen rayon. Black and white with a fun tropical leaf fern branch type thing. Shorts. Then I got a skirt which is going into Thread Up. I'm collecting a bag for Thread Up. They'll give me a little bit more than I paid. Not a huge amount of money to be made here, but um, this was White House Black Market, brand new with tags. It was $68 originally. It's just a black and white A-line skirt. So on eBay, I might be able to get, oh, and I paid $10 minus, so would we figure that out? $1.50, so I paid $1.50 for this. So I might get, might, $6.99 for this. I don't even know if I would get that. White House Black Market doesn't have that great of a following, but I'll probably get three or four bucks for thread up. Next is another boutique item, so also $1.50. These are Under Armour. Under Armour shorts. I'm doing a really bad job here. Here we go. These are cute. They have the little underwear inside. I'm sure I can Google them and find the style number. I don't see a size. But I'm guessing they're a smaller or medium. These things have such stretchy waists that I don't know if it's gonna matter too much. If they were my size, I'd keep them because I only have one pair of walking shorts right now and I could use a second. Cute. Then we have some faded black Old Navies, not Old Navies, American Eagle, size 10, little cutoffs. <laughs> black corduroy uh, shorts. By Forever 21. I think the lighting was better over here. We're, we're gonna get this. We're doing it. I think I like that lighting better. And last night I had a biscuit. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. My husband bought a can of biscuits and they've been sitting in the refrigerator for weeks and I'm not that strong. So I made, the for, made them for him last night and um, I wound up eating one, but it was so good. So 
I am breaking out like crazy. Vintage Jordache black denim jeans, 100% cotton. These are begging to be cut. We are cutting these off. A little bit of a high waist, right? These will be so good cut off. I'm gonna go to the craft store and buy one of those like pizza wheel fabric cutters. I don't know what to call this. This is another pair I'm gonna distress. Ralph Lauren, Lauren, uh, they're a jeans company. Size 10. Next, brand new tags from QVC, Denim and Company, size four. These are a very wide leg, a little bit of a stretch denim. But again, new with tags, so that's nice. Riders, these are also going to be chopped and distressed. It's a very high waist too, yeah. Another pair chopped and distressed. Liz Claiborne's, these are like a tapered leg, but the leg's not gonna matter. Calvin Klein jeans, I'm going to chop these as well. They already have a little bit of distressing, but I'm really going to distress them. Next, jeans. Okay, so these are a slim fit gap. These are also going to be cut into shorts. Denim and Company size four. I think I have three or four of Denim and Company size four, so I might lock these all together because these feel new as well. Denim and Company is sold on QVC, so these probably retail for like $30 to $40. This is Gap. This is an older label for Gap. What year is this? 2008. I'll probably, are these salvage? No, they're not. I think I'm gonna cut these into shorts too. These are Anthropology brand, which is called Level 99. Might be able to see it on the back better. I'm gonna let these go. What size are you? Size 29. So what is that, like an eight? So decent size, hemlines are in good condition. We're good. These are express jeans, we're cutting these down. I am so excited to cut these. I think it's just gonna be so much fun. These were already cut. No, they're just shorts. Chi, C-H-I-Q-L-E. I'm not sure where these came from. It's written in script, so chai cooly? I don't know. Little cutoffs in a size large. Okay. These are being cut down. These are perfect. Look at these vintage lee. They're like a medium wash. Look at those pockets. You put your whole hands in those pockets. So good. And these were all $4.99. Next pair that are going to be chopped, riders, high-waisted. These are actually crops, <laughs> but they'll do better as shorts. More jeans. Like I said, I got 121 pairs, I think, of pants, shorts, jeans. So everything was so cheap. For 120 something, I paid $100. So yeah, these are Levi's. They're already short, somebody cut down it looks like. So I might just distress them. Another pair of vintage denim, these are riders. These are totally going to be distressed or cuffed a couple times with that um, hair iron trick. What are we calling that, a flat iron. So I'll show you if I cuff both of these 
somebody posted about this on Instagram and said, I'll show you how to do this, but they haven't yet. But I just looked on YouTube and there's plenty of videos on how to do it. So I just need a few things. We have an electric sander, which I think will come in handy. So they're already so many times better. So vintage riders. These are Old Navy shorts. These are good as is, size eight. These are Levi's, really long Levi's. Probably cut those. These are already shorts, Gap size one. A dark little pair. These feel nice. Ann Taylor Loft, this is their size four or 27. Curvy skinny ankle. So these will be sold as is. This will be a fun pair. Oh, it's got zippers. <gasps> Never mind, I was gonna cuff them up. Can't cuff zippers. This is another pair of Denim & Company size four in a darker wash. So I have one in a lighter wash, one in a darker wash, I think a tan pair and another pair. Oh, here's another pair. That's a, the same wash. This looks even like slightly uh, darker. So brand new attacks. <sighs> what color do we want to see next? Oh, I have more jeans. We're just going to see more jeans. Now we're into layer jeans. These are wear it, declare it, size five. I might just, yeah, I'm just gonna cut the, the hem and make it distressed. Same thing with these. These are premium international for ladies, which I think is a Walmart brand, but they're a really high waist. Does everybody wanna come over and cut shorts with me? Same thing, these are Faded Glory size eight vintage looking when i say vintage they're not like 60s but they're probably from the early 2000s late 90s now these are older this this cotton weighs a ton so work out these are riders and look how good the back of them are they do this thing with the seams see that the seams are diagonal it's really cool then we have a pair of shorts that already has a little bit of distressing these are Bailey's, which is Bailey? Bailey, uh, from Delia's, which is a double zero. Gap size zero. I'll just cut the hemlines off of those. Got quite the pile growing beside me. American Eagle, this is a skirt. And I think I might cut the hemline off, off of that. These are Eddie Bauer, slightly curvy fit, size eight. I'm gonna leave these as is, Bermuda shorts. Last of the denim. We have Bullhead Denim, which I think is a men's brand. This is their skinny fit, waist size 32.30, okay? So they're a lighter pair. I have the cool thing happening. Then we have Outlaw, which I'm guessing is vintage. Come on. And they have dragonflies stitched to them. The dragonflies made it for me. Gotta pick up dragonfly shorts. So again, just cutting this part here, distressing. I'll probably make some distress marks. I'll show you a video. <laughs> Watch, I won't be able to do it. LEIs. So they're vintage. Ralph Lauren with the big patch. These will be perfect for distressing. These are really cute. What size are you? Eight. I bet you I could fit into these. Hmm. We'll see. Might have to keep a pair. These are apple bottoms. Anybody remember apple bottoms? And they've already started to distress them. So they're pretty good. And apples on your bottom. The pockets are apple bottoms. So funny. So I might just leave this. Those are pretty cool. Bass. I worked at Bass when I was in college. Probably like 1999, 2000. These I'm going to leave as is. They're just a super soft size 14 short. 
Yay, that was all of the denim. Now on to just the blue. Found these, LuLaRoe, look really good condition, tall and curvy, which is my size for nighttime. And they're a blue heathered legging. I might be able to get 15, 20 bucks. I'll probably put these up for auction. I already have leggings for sleepwear, so they feel so nice. Lori Goldstein logo, which is also a QVC exclusive brand. These were their boutique, so they wanted eight. So 85% of eight is magic number. I'll be able to find what they call them, but they're just a pull on Bermuda in a size extra small. These are adorable. Gap Girlfriend five inch short in a size zero. They have like a nautical theme going here. Really cute. Talbot size 16, so a good size on these. And these are linen cotton. They're like a black and gray, maybe just more gray, woven thing. And the hems are stitched up, so I'll just have to iron those. <laughs> these, I couldn't decide what was going on in these shorts, but there's an electric, electric, electric waistband. <laughs> You'd be shocked. Elastic waistband. And they're very high-waisted and they're pleated and they have pretty colors. I love the mints and the pink. They've got pockets. I think it's somebody sitting at an outside table. See this like thing? This looks like a fish at a, a table. And there's definitely a woman's face in there. I, I don't know. So those were cool. These are Hollister, size five. Liked the print. I bought like half the shorts they had at their shop. These are so cool. I could not find a label. I checked in all of the pockets and no label. Somebody really wanted to hide the maker from me but they're fully reversible shorts. One side is like a blue steel gray color and the buttons don't say anything. They're just wooden buttons. They seem really well made. So sometimes if I don't know the maker or have any information, I can just put reversible shorts into an eBay search. And then if that doesn't bring anything up or brings up too much, I can put blue in there, gray in there, and that should help. These are like a dark navy gingham now. They're fully reversible. I thought that was so cool. I love these. <laughs> I got really serious. I wonder if these would fit me. They are Shays Sport size 16. I might try these for me once I have them distressed. I just love that print. Shades of blue and almost a periwinkle and a purpley blue and a faded black. They're gonna be high-waisted. They're so pretty. Then, Old Navy size two. These are a bright blue, like a cobalt blue and black floral print with cuffs. Then we have Chico's size 0.5. They have like that denim chambray feel to them. They pleated friends and polka dots. And somebody has a dog barking in the background. These also had no label, but they wanted $4.99. Okay, so they wanted the same price. It's a swimsuit with a really high waist and a decent length skirt. So I guess it doesn't have to be a swimsuit. It could just be for like running or something, but it's swimsuit material and it feels like a nicely made because um, there's like that leather, not leather, rubber, rubber stuff that'll stop it from going down. So I'll try these on try to figure out what size they are. 
Goodwill has them marked in medium, but they look like they might be a large. For swimsuit season, I think these are like to use modest in there. And if somebody had a tankini top and this came right underneath your bust, you'd be really <laughs> modest. And Columbia size eight, like a faded blue, blue plaid short. Oh, and these were boutiques, so these were also $1.50. Okay, we're getting there. Next, I think I'm gonna do turquoise and aqua. Another dark blue pair faded. J. Crew broken in chino fit size eight. Then I have these, which are, which are something. Are they inside out? Oh, they have this on them. This is, I found a label somewhere. Nordic track. This was some kind of, you might be right with the Nordic track. Let me see. It did say something somewhere. I didn't make it up. Here we go. Nordic track. It is Nordic track. I didn't know Nordic track made shorts, but they're cute little athletic shorts. I loved these. Gap Aqua size large. I might keep these. Terry cloth beach shorts. Cute. These are Newport News, which is vintage size six or eight. These are being cut. Look how tiny those are. There's no way that's a six. Good cut in shorts. These are a muted green from Morona. I think I found a few Morona size four, so I might lock those up if they're the same kind of basic style. American Eagle Outfitters size two midi stretch. Very much liking these shorts. Then these are probably just gonna be for me. Earth Yoga organic clothing uh, made from bamboo cotton. They don't have, they do have wash wear, but I wear this stuff in the house and I don't care if it has wash wear. Actually, I'd rather have it have a little bit of wash wear that way when it gets thrown in the dryer with everything else, um, it won't matter. These probably are also for me. They are Blair size medium. I think Blair is like a right away catalog. I'm sure you can call them at this point too, but they market to older people, <laughs> which is clearly me. But they're completely cotton. They have a soft waist. Oh, love this stuff. Look how pretty the aqua is. Perfect shade of aqua. Okay, next is green. Possibly the only top. This was a two-piece cold water creek in like a deep teal emerald. Size medium. And they wanted $5.99, but that's for both of the pieces. Really nice twin set. I didn't see any flaws. This just looked great for the summertime because it was such an open weave. And um, I'll probably put open weave, twin set, career church um cold water creek size medium 10 12. it's a cotton blend which is really good these these look new so pretty they even have some pretty knit i don't know if you'll be able to see that it's like knit into the the thing <laughs> it's just gonna be like up here soon then i have j crew they have a tag but not the original tag somebody wanted eight dollars for these at a consignment shop i guess these are the low fit size six they are a seersucker green and white striped short and um, where were these from you are from 2004 but I feel like you could still wear this stuff, especially at the beach. If you're going on a beach vacation, that'd be great. Oh, another shirt. This is men's Tori Richard Honolulu. They wanted $8.99 for this. 
which I'll have whatever the real price is. And this is a reverse print, I think it's called, where the print is actually more vivid inside and then they reverse the material and thought to make that the outside. So I think that's called a reverse print. Back to shorts. J. Crew favorite fit, size zero. Oh, these are capris. These will look cute cuffed in my photos. Gap Hadley, that's the style, size 12. These are about the same color as the last ones. Yep. Then I have J. Jill size small. It is a jacket. I guess you could make it. No, it's probably a jacket with a zipper. And this was linen, cotton, viscose linen. And they wanted $8.99 for it. Let me put it back together so you can see what exactly it is. I wasn't, obviously this Goodwill has been closing for a while, so I've been there quite a few times and they weren't putting out too many items. So when I went this past time, when I went this past time, I knew I was going to have to either not go or be creative with things so cheap. So most of these shorts probably cost what, like less than a dollar 97 cents or something. So I thought if I could distress them and take a few minutes and do each pair and maybe flip them for $20 and then some of them will just sell for a little bit less. I'm going to put $19.99 on this. This was $9 uh, minus the discount. These were so cool. These are yellow and they have a button fly Calvin Klein. And they're tiny little shorty shorts. I am going to cut the hem and fray them, but very cool look. Then I have this. What is this? LuLaRoe, size medium. This is a classic t-shirt. That's what they call this style of t-shirt since it doesn't have vents. If it had little side vents, it would be a perfect tee. But since it's not, it's solid, it's heathered. Um, it's a tunic length. It's yellow, so it was a good color for the season. They wanted $4.49. I'm not going to try to figure out 85% of that. I'll write it on the screen. So, yeah, it looked like it was in really good shape. Yellow cargo pants. Everybody needs a yellow pair of cargo pants. These are Chico's size one and they're crops. They're like a buttery yellow. Next is body glove. They are a highlighter orange pair of um, swim trunks for men. The elastic still is good. And they have that body glove label logo. Can you see it? It's like that handprint thing. They have a little bit of a condition, um, and I don't know, it looks like something was stuck inside the mesh, like a little black piece of fuzz got stuck inside the mesh, but I'll, I'll figure that out. So these are from 1993 Body Glove, size large. Next, we will do reds. Should I do reds? Yeah, reds are next. Okay, these are Boast, which I've never heard of, but it said Boast for people that don't have to. They look vaguely vintage, and the O in the logo has a marijuana leaf. So there's that, and the snap at the front has a marijuana leaf. I think they're just men's shorts. It almost looked like they could be um, swimming trunks, but they're not. Unless you had some other kind of um, thing underneath or you didn't care about that kind of thing. These are Liz Claiborne 10 Petite. 10 Petite? Somebody must have already hemmed these. But I'm going to cut them off because of the high waist and the color and the pleating. I think these will make decent cutoffs. And shorts 
$4.99. Yeah, we're still in that $4.99 range. Rock and Republic. They are red, but like a broken in red. I can do this, the roll up thing. These are boutique. They are Ralph Lauren, Lauren Active. Um, so $9. They're size four. They're like a tomato red. Bermuda shorts. I won't do anything to these, but list them. They have kind of a, a golf kind of thing here. So I might list them as golf shorts. Yeah, definitely tomato red. Nautica size zero. These are like orange or orange red. They had the little sailor thing happening with the pockets, which I loved. Just basic shorts. At this point, I've gone through the Goodwill so many times that that we just worked on things I thought I could flip easily or cut off. Land's End size 14. These are coral. And I'm noticing one of the buttons is broken. So this button here is cracked. I'll probably take the button from the front. Let's see if there's any additional buttons. No. So I'll take this little coin pocket button and put it in the back. And then I have fun buttons. So I can pick a fun button for the front. That'll be fun. Fun, fun, fun. And then I have American Eagle favorite shorts. Size two. And again, I think I have quite a few pairs of size two American Eagle. So these might be lotted up. They're like coral. Hot pink. This is not going to show how hot pink this is. It's so pink. These are the khakis by Gap broken in straight fit size six. These will roll up really pretty for the photo. Just such a fun pop of color. I would keep these if they were my size. They look big, but I know I'm bigger than that. So, okay. We have one more pile after this and then some other things I got. These are Massimo Supply Company. Did you know the owner of Massimo, Massimo? Massimo, um, also still designs clothes. He's got a golf line now, but he married Aunt Becky from Full House, who's Laurie McLaughlin, I think is her name. And one of their daughters, Olivia Jade, has a YouTube channel and she looks so much like her mom and she is darling. Oh my goodness, this girl, first of all, is so pretty, but she's so nice and she's fun to watch and you can just tell she's, she was brought up with love. So that's Olivia Jade. She's got a lot of followers, so I'm sure you'll find her easy if you wanted to see what she looked like. But these are <laughs> vintage. They're like fruit striped gum stripes. I can't use that because fruit striped gum is trademarked. But these are very short shorts. Some more stripes. These are Ann Taylor Loft size two. Are these linen? They are not. They are just cotton. Really soft. Then we have Gap, no, not Gap, Crop Trousers Cut From The Cloth. These are also very bright pink. So they're crops by Cut From The Cloth, which is a decent name, in a size six. Cotton spandex, pretty. They're really lightweight, so I think that's gonna be good, <laughs> be good for uh, the season. This I debated with, but for 85% off, Denim and Company, size small. This is a skirt, so it's got a full skirt. It's really soft. Everything's soft. And then a full pair of shorts underneath. And this skirt is the front and back, so I really liked that. Next, Old Navy, size six. These are eyelet shorts, so they have eyelet cutouts. 
We are chopping these. Newport News size six. So I think I picked up a few of Newport News um, in this tiny little size that's not a size six. But we are, we are chopping these and making them cut offs. They're gonna be adorable. You're gonna be adorable. Another pair of Ralph Lauren jeans, this time not on the boutique section, so they're pink. They're Bermuda shorts. We're getting there. We've got like 10 pairs left. Khakis by Gap. These are the skinny mini style in a size zero. These will be nice ones to to roll up for the photos. Morona size four. Okay, we definitely have a Morona lot headed your way. These are like a faded lilac color. Uh, last pile. We have Ann Taylor Loft size two original fit. I'm not gonna do anything with these. There, what color is that? Mauve? I don't like to use the word moth because it sounds so old fashioned. So we'll have to come up with another word. Um, these are another Gap by Khakis by Gap broken in straight. Zero, zero, double zero. I feel like we just saw these. Are these the same? No, these are just a zero. Okay, these are a double zero. Then we have these, I think they're Eddie Bauer. They are Eddie Bauer, size eight, Bermuda short, with some back pockets and a drawstring front. Columbia, size 10. These are like a dark burgundy maroon color, maybe maroon. Okay, so Carolyn Rose, I've done really well with her pieces before. Are they made in the USA? They are made in the USA. So this one is, is this is linen. This is reminding me very much of Eileen Fisher. So it is 100% linen. It's like a slub knit plum or purple, probably put both, roll up sleeve, which is really nice. Will it roll down or is it just stitched in place? Oh, it will roll down. Okay, so you could make this three quarter sleeves or more of a short sleeve. Button front, the buttons are all really pretty wood. They're very thick wood. So I'll put wood buttons, this is a tunic length. I'll put jacket, shirt, plum, Carolina Rose, Caroline, Caroline Rose. This might bring like $30 and I paid $4.49. And then the last three items of the entire haul. I'm gonna so miss Goodwill. Scissors, these look like good scissors. They wanted $1.99 minus 85% off. So what is that? 30 cents, 30 cent scissors. I have Goo Gone and so Goo Gone will take off all the stickiness, but always looking for good scissors. I have a few pairs at this point. I should stop buying scissors. I don't want that on my fingers. <laughs> then I have these, they are Kenneth Cole, men's size nine and a half, and they were $8 minus the discount. They have this like Oxford cut. I love that the sole was so much wider than the shoe. Really, really cool style. They remind me of saddle shoes. Pretty good shape too. So that and then the very last item. Do I need to turn that back on? I don't think I do. Is a vintage hanger. And I thought this would be fun to stage some of the cutoff shorts that I plan on making. So 
I'll hang them up on this or just lay them out flat on this. This was 99 cents, so it was 15 cents. So that was everything. Goodwill is officially closed in a half hour and I couldn't go back if I wanted to. So uh, I had such a fun time this past week just going back and going back. And I'm gonna have enough inventory probably for a week or two. I won't have to go shopping. So that will be awesome because next week continues the doctor's appointments, two doctor's appointments this past week, two more this week, and probably more after that. I think we're having my gallbladder checked in too. It's just been annoying. So that's everything. Bear is at the gym and it's quiet here. There were people over at the pool. It's Saturday, so there's almost always somebody over at the pool with grandchildren or whatever. And they were being a little loud and I was wondering if that was gonna interfere with filming, but it has not. And I need to get something to eat. I ate a biscuit last night. Can't remember if we talked about this or not. And it broke me out, but it was so good. It was one biscuit. Come on, one biscuit. But uh, I'd say it was worth it. <laughs> I don't eat because uh, it has milk in it, I'm sure. Wheat doesn't do anything to me too much, but the, the milk. So... Yeah, I'll get something to eat and then possibly put this crazy pile behind me in the lanai because that's the eBay space because look at look at that you're just coming through the door right now that is what you're going to see I have a pile that would be much higher than me if I sat next to it let's try it let's not sit on a pair of scissors though <laughs> I have to separate two which ones I'm planning on cutting from the other ones and and we'll take it from there I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you're doing something fun with your weekend I'll talk to you later bye we hope your day is blooming with joy